AITA for telling my mom she doesn't get to act like the victim when she named me after her late husband behind my dad's back. My mom was married to another guy before she was married to my dad. Her first husband was her childhood best friend, her first and only love until he died. They started dating as teenagers and got married in their 20s and were trying to have kids when he died. They were 28. My mom never loved anyone else again. She met and married my dad, but she never loved him. She married him because she was turned down as a single adoptive parent and because people in her life told her she should find a way to be happy again. I'm their only kid and she named me after her first husband. My dad didn't realize for years. Her husband's name was James. Like his legal name, it's the one most people used for him. But my mom called him Hunter and guess what my name is? Hunter. She told dad she just really loved the name and my dad liked it too so he agreed. He only knew her first husband as James so never made the connection. I was 10 when my dad found out. He found some letters that he initially thought were meant for me but realized they were to the first husband. They ended up arguing for like two weeks straight and that's how I learned mom's feelings toward dad and why she married him. I would sit up and listen to them when I was meant to be sleeping because it weirded me out to learn I was named after her first husband. She always had him very present in our life. We had loads of photos in the house of him. She would talk about him a lot and it was pretty clear she was still super in love with him. I only realized last year but something she also did was switch her wedding ring for my dad out for her original wedding ring when my dad wasn't around. I remember her changing rings a lot when I was a younger kid and when they divorced she just always wore her original wedding ring. I wanted my name changed and my dad does too but mom refuses to give her consent, which we need, and the judge has insisted both parents have to consent. My relationship with mom is not good anyway. I'm not the kid she wanted because I'm not James slash Hunter's kid. But she also refuses to let me go and just let me be dad's kid. She'll sometimes try some performative parenting but mostly it's sort of like we're roommates when I'm at her house instead of dad's. I have to split my time every other week. The judge refuses refused to let me make the decision. My mom's house has photos of her and James all over the place. It's like a shrine to him slash to them and two days ago she was crying to her former eels that we hate her and how awful my dad is to her. When the call ended I told her she doesn't get to act like the victim when she lied to dad about my name and named me after her dead husband behind dad's back and when she won't let me change my name so I'm not creeped out by the history behind my name. She called me a self-absorbed brat and told me I will never understand her grief. I told her I understood the loss was devastating for her but she used us and never even loved us and that was shitty. AITA?